how are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. You look amazing. Look, I, if you knew how quick I did this beat just for you, you would be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But I have to say that I love, love, love your character in Cruella. And Thank one you. of the things that I enjoy most about this film is about how society always underestimates the underdog. And I really mm -hmm. want to know after in this film is already I want to know has that changed for you or has that taken deeper meaning for you now after completing the film I think I've been quite lucky in, in terms of I've played quite a, quite a few underdogs in my time so I I there, there's always an element to that in everything I do um what I loved about him the most is that he he is sort of he's so individual he's so unique and you can imagine that maybe he doesn't have the easiest time in the world walking around like that. You know, they have a conversation about how his look goes down on the street, but he doesn't seem to care what other people think. And that is the thing I'm trying to do more of. Uh, it's hard, we all know it's pretty difficult. It's easier said than done, but I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's an everyday practice for me. It's just to just, just care a little less about other people's opinions. Yeah, I mean, you know, when Artie came on screen, I was just like, I love this, like for Disney. You know, when we talk about more representation and you, see, I know you've seen all of the tweets and people speculating, like, is this our first LGBTQ plus character in a Disney movie? We're here for it. But I really want to mm -hmm. know, like, this role is so inspiring to those, um, you know, watching on screen and seeing themselves. I really want to know how important that was for you to portray Artie in Cruella. I mean, it was so important, but I'll be honest, it was one of those things I wasn't really thinking about when I was doing it. Um, it's only when the final thing comes together and, and like you say, other people start talking about it. You go, oh, yeah, that is quite a big deal. You know, I, I try not to look outside of myself too much because then it's, it becomes distracting. So doing the job, you know, you're just another actor on a set with other actors. Um, but now I'm, I'm so glad to hopefully be part of, of that history for Disney, you know, in, in whatever way I can be. Yeah, but we have to talk about these fashions in this movie and especially <laughs> Artie's character. I want to know how much collaboration did you have with the costume department of really bringing Artie to life on screen? I could have had the collaboration if I wanted to. I think it was always there for me. But when you're working with Jenny Bevan, it, you kind of you don't need to collaborate. She just she nails it. She hits it out of the park. I'd walk in, I'd see these clothes that she's found, and I just think, wow. And actually, I think I think what's interesting with Artie is that when you see it on the page, if you just read about the character, I think your instinct would be think that he'd be bright colours, glitter, all of this stuff, and he has a very specific colour palette. It's actually quite, it's quite toned down and there's a lot of pattern and a lot of texture, but I think she took a really interesting angle with the character. Um, and I used to just love putting on those clothes every day, loved it. You know, it's so interesting that you say that because while watching Artie on screen, you would think that Artie would be this larger than life character, especially because of the connection he has with Cruella. Um, but I really want you to talk, speak more about um, it's like Artie's there and you acknowledge Artie's presence, but there's like a calmness to Artie, especially when always being interacting with Cruella, who's so larger than life. Can you really explain about that aspect of Artie and Cruella? Yeah, I think what's interesting watching the movie is that Cruella obviously becomes quite, uh, she has a mission and she won't waver from that mission. And, you know, her as a result of that, her, um, her relationship with Jasper and Horace becomes quite fractured. But I think what's interesting about art is that he understands that, uh, that sort of temperament that you have when you're a creative person. And I think also what's quite, quite, quite fun about art is that she's coming into his shop. You know, she's coming into his world. Eventually he comes into hers and helps her, but he doesn't, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't really give her too much weight when he first meet her. He just, he loves the way she looks. He thinks she's great. Um, so I think, yeah, I think he's, there is like, it's interesting you say calmness because I've never thought about it that way, but it is, it, there's, it, he is very calm and collected. I like to think he probably meditates, he's quite zen. Even when, um, not to spoil anything, but there's a moment in which he saves, saves one of the other characters. And then afterwards, he's just very like, he just brushes it off. He's quite cool. He's, yeah, he's, he's wonderful. Look, I was watching, I was like, I have all this anxiety. I don't know what's going to happen. And Artie is just sitting here like, yeah, you know, it's just another day with Cruella. I'm just here to help my friends yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, and I think he understands her vision. And that's something that I think unless you are a really creative person and not just creativity in general, but I mean, he makes clothing. His life is clothing and, and fashion. 
he understands where she's coming from. So if he's if she says, I need to get this done, he knows she needs to get it done. He'll help her get it done. You know, he's he's of the same mindset. Yeah, you know, uh, when I talk to actors, they always talk about how they sometimes take a piece of their character with them. Um, is there any ways, are there any pieces of Artie that you actually took with you? Because now I feel like I need to be more chill in life after watching Yeah, Artie. <laughs> I like to think I'm quite chill. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we have that in common. But like I said earlier, it's the, it's the trying not to care about other people's opinions is, is what I'm what I'm focusing on because he doesn't care right and you know and actually sometimes I'm as you can see I'm relatively plain in the way I dress but every so often I will put on something a bit fancier now since doing the role and go yeah yeah why not I just have a bit of you know sparkle in my life Look, see, I feel like we can chill, okay? Because I'm scared about actually putting on real clothes. Like today is one of the I was like, I want to put on real clothes today, but I just like wearing my ones and my PJ. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, also after the year we've all had, it was so alien to put on real clothes for the first time, wasn't it? 2020 was yeah. the year of the tracksuit, and I say let's let's keep that up a bit more. It's nice to be comfortable. <laughs> but you know, watching Cruella, I was like, wow, like I forgot how much I missed seeing fashion like it's something that brings everyone together and watching it on screen it was just like man we have been missing out for the past year and a half we have been, we have been. and actually you know this film has I think what four major balls in it and every ball has a different theme and there's just yeah. it's a, it's a feast for the eyes this film in terms of you know in terms of the hair the makeup the clothes there's so much in there and so much detail and also fashion the fashion world it like you said it's something that we all partake in and we all we all wear clothing and often we can feel alienated from from fashion it's yeah. sometimes something that we think we don't understand or that we're not a part of and i think this film shows a girl with a natural talent who who you know who who will go out there and and, and you can really say something through clothes whether you know you're doing it or not you know the way you present yourself to the world is a very important thing and so yeah. to have a film about that is is wonderful yeah, and, and really just pushing boundaries, you know, like, you know, how you say fashion rejects certain people and just creating your own lane, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, too, like, how would you want to, like, take that mindset, like, into your career or even your personal life of, you know, you talk about how you don't want to worry about the opinions of others. So how are you going to navigate by creating your own lane and really just accepting yourself? I think it's just all about living authentically, isn't it? And, and courage of spirit and being yourself because it's so cliche to say, but no one can be you as well as you can be yourself. And, and so and I think the minute you stop trying to be anything but yourself authentically is the minute that your own lane will open up for you. I love this. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, I love me some good therapy sessions. I know, how much, are, how much am I charging you for this therapy session? <laughs> I mean, I thought we were doing the family discount. Yeah, okay, okay. We're we'll family do now. <laughs> but I do want to ask you for the final question. You know, what message do you want, you know, Cruella to leave audiences with? Because there's so many multi-layered themes in the film, but what do you hope that audiences will get out of watching Cruella? Is that, is that you know, um, there's always more to the story than, than, you, than, you first, than you first are introduced to someone. It's so easy to make up your mind or make a snap judgment and you really have no idea what a person's been through or going through or will continue to go through after you've met them so i think it's about um i think it's about maybe being a bit more accepting of things that, of people that you don't understand their behavior and and knowing that it's usually coming from a place of of, of hurt if it is a certain type of behavior Said. Okay, you gave me a whole bunch of quotes to live by in this conversation. Yeah, good. You get them tattooed on too. <laughs> I had so much fun talking to you, John. Me I cannot, too. Thank you. Yes, I loved our therapy session together. I can't wait for everybody <laughs> to see you in this film. But I hope that you have a great rest of uh, rest of your day, your week. And I really appreciate you speaking with me today. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. It was such fun. Have a nice day. You too. Bye, John. See you later.